Hello everyone and welcome back. We are continuing with the game. Actually, we're not continuing anything because we finished um we just finished Defense Against the Dark Arts, so we're now going to potions class. And I decided to start the part in the Great Hall to save time, you know. Um so potions class is not very eventful compared to other classes. And I'm trying to remember what happens after this potion class. I have an idea, but I may be getting it mixed up with another potions class, because you have more than one in this game. Unlike Chamber of Secrets, where you have none whatsoever. Okay, let's just go straight in. And get on with it. I have to say, I quite enjoy uh, collecting potion ingredients in this game. I think it's quite fun, and I enjoy it. And I just want to say too, sorry for not having a part for ages. Scary. Snape looks ugly. So yeah, this is the most eventful potion class in the whole game. But yeah, as I was saying before, apologies for not having a part for like, I think it's been over a week. It's just I went back to school after a two week break and I've just like been, haven't really felt like recording. Right, Mr. Weasley. Pick up both vials of Wigan Weld to administer the Wigan Weld potion to yourself. Stand away from Potter and drink. We need to equip it first. Do, do, do. To myself? Now, Over here. Drink it. Shush! It was blue before. Now stand close to Potter and administer. Yes, I'm not a clot, Professor Snape. Are you a complete fool? Stand close to Potter. What happened? I will let Mr. Weasley give you a full explanation. Although his incompetence speaks for itself. Thanks to Mr. Weasley's little sideshow, we no longer have time for the rest of the lesson. So, you will now be gathering the ingredients for the antidote to uncommon poisons in your own time. Ready for my next lesson. For the next class, therefore, you are to bring fire seeds, billywig stings, chiz purple carapaces, and the horn of a grap horn. Class dismissed. Yep. Hello. Oh, it always makes me nervous when it does that. I don't think I've had any trouble with this game freezing before, though. Thanks a lot, Weasley. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. Let's go outside. Well, I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. I think we should turn in. Yes, but maybe we should start looking for those potion ingredients for Professor Snape's next potions class. What do you think, Harry? Harry? Okay, well... Durr, ending the day, we'll just do that now. Don't know what's next, actually. To be completely honest. I... I used... I'm... No. My brain's not working. When I look at this... Oh, shit. I always get interrupted when I'm trying to talk. It's good that this house point thing doesn't take anywhere near as long as it did in Chamber of Secrets. They really drew it out. In Chamber of Secrets it was like Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Etc. 
Yes, now this loading screen's come up, I know exactly what we're doing. continued to worry about the Dementors and Sirius Black, but he had plenty of other things to think about as well. You've got to help Neville. What? Neville was wandering around on the fifth floor, and Malfoy's lot found him and locked him in the Muggle Studies classroom. And they've released a ghoul. Where's Hermione? In the girls' dormitory. She's finding it easy to study up there. Well, I suppose it's you and me then, Ron. BFFs to the rescue. So yeah, this is quite a nice little challenge. Um, I was just wondering if it is a night challenge. I'm not actually sure if it's meant to be night time now. Um, but yeah, this is good. So we're gonna see some creatures we haven't seen before called, uh... Oh, crap. Um, Hinky Punks. That's them. Hinky Punks. And, uh, they're pretty weird looking. Just saying. Seriously, after having a break from making Let's Plays, I feel like I've just... I can't do it anymore. Like, I've lost... I've lost my touch, but... Hopefully get back into it. I was hoping to record a bit of Fable 2 today as well, but we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. Because I've got to play a bit more of, um, Fable 2, so I can get to a good quest to do co-op with, because I really, um... Well, I am going to do some co-op in that game, but I just want to do it sooner rather than later. Um, so there will be some co-op in there at some point. Did you see it? Potter and Weasley. Hang on, adjusting my headset. Okay, quick, dueling time. I've always thought it's unfair that <laughs> they both got pumpkin heads. Unfair in this game how they get more spells than us, like the pumpkin spell. <laughs> Harry! Hurry up, you can worry about cleaning yourself up afterwards. Come back here. Oi, you little shit. Come back. Where is Melfoy? Or is he down? Nope. Where is he? Wait, there he is. Damn it. Oh, he's gone. But we've still got to save Neville from the ghoul. House points. Which are... Over. Where's the frog? I thought I saw a frog. Where is it? Oh, Harry just walked into it, I think. Or I did. I don't know. I couldn't see it. Anyway, here we go. Into the next section. Get a treasure chest. I just saw the other wall across. Hang on, my headset keeps sliding off. Okay, I'm um, just over here. It's one of the stink pellet things for the stink pellet challenge. I will be doing that later in the let's play. Okay, let's look over here. Oh no, we can't do that one yet. Sorry, because the uh, it's got a lock on it. All right. Oh no. <laughs> Evil musical instruments. Oh, that didn't take too long. Just leave me alone. Uh. Okay. Uh, Ron, equip. Oh no, sorry, that's later. We just have to. Go around. Where's the bit that you. Oh, where is it? It says. No, not there. Or is it? No, that's later. Jesus Christ, have I. I have lost my touch. Neville! Oh, hang on, yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm all right. 
That's how you get up. Ah, okay then, you keep him busy. Oh, what's that then? Toys. Oh, jeez. Ah, evil rubber duck. I like rubber ducks. Don't ruin this for me. Die. Not you, Ron. The toys. I've never wanted to kill a rubber ducky. Jeez, we get points for everything in this game. Okay, we're gonna see the hinky punks, guys. But There's first, be something in here I can use. there is a spell book. A spell book? That looks so cool, just how that happens. Now, equip the spell, but make sure you also have Flipendo equipped. So what you need to do, get a nice, sorry, get a nice Lumos and shine it on Hinky Punks. They turn solid, hit them twice with Flipendo. Hang on. Did I get it? Yeah, I think it did. They're just like standing inside each other there. Oh, they're both, because they were both standing there, got them both at the same time, except I wasn't fast enough for that one. Okay, that failed a little bit. There we go. No, there's, there's always more. Okay. They do attack you, by the way. They fling, like, their lantern fire stuff at you. But fortunately, we haven't had that yet. And I think one more. Can't see a damn thing. There we go. And that's all. Now, how do I get out of here? Continually shining lumos on crystal balls will charge them with light. So, bit of that, and remember the mirror. You've got to turn it. And the eyeball is above the door there. So, climb onto here. Damn it, it's doing the thing again where you you move the the analog stick the way you want to go, but then it goes the opposite way. So the last two you're gonna have to move the analog stick the opposite way of which you wanna go. I don't understand why the game does that, it just does. So we can't go back in there. Not that we would want to because there wasn't really anything in there anyway. Okay, treasure chest. And uh, this is the music that was used in uh, Chamber of Secrets when we were in Borgen and Burks. In case you recognise it, that's where it's from. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if that's actually in the official um, Chamber of Secrets game soundtrack because I'm pretty sure I've listened to the whole Chamber of Secrets soundtrack and I haven't heard it in there. Some things don't make it into the soundtrack but they're still in the game and it's kind of disappointing sometimes. Right. Just gotta go around, there's nothing there. This is kind of like a boss, I suppose. Um, we'll need to equip. I think we need Expelliarmus, or. Well, we'll equip it anyway. Maybe we don't. No. <laughs> okay. 
I tried. Expelliarmus really doesn't do very much. Shoot it when its guts open. Just avoid the rockets. Be careful too, because they curve around those missile things. Look at my flowing cloak. Isn't it pretty? And there you have it. And conveniently, the train stops right in front of us with an orb. And we get house points. Oops. Onto the eyeball, which then lifts that. And now, what we do... Go up to the ghoul. Shine Lumos and lead it back into this. Harry, you idiot! You always screw everything up. Alright, into here. Hehe. <laughs> Yep. As Neville said, let's get back to the common room. Because we can't end the day till we're back in there. By the way, this is a good place to explore. If you like. If you want to get... Shut up! Because there's a few things that you can get, um, not straight away sort of thing. And even, like, in here, look, there's dung bombs in there. You can blow it up like this. Hang on. Not like that. Like this. No, like this. No, like that. That's how you do it. Okay. Anyway, let's not smash the place up. The school vandalism, not allowed. Well, I think this was quite a good part because we managed to do two things. Potions. And this... Uh, yeah, it is a night mission, you can tell from the castles lit up. Um, so yeah, we completed a class and a night mission in one. I think that's pretty damn good. Tomorrow, what do we have tomorrow? I think we might. Oh, it seems a bit soon for charms. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. I don't know. Forgot. I'm getting worse at this. This is what happens when I have breaks. It wasn't even meant to have a break. Just because school shit. And I kept. Oh dear. To find her. You'll be lucky. What do you mean, Peeps? A shame your headship, sir, doesn't want to be seen. So I ran into the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Climb something dreadful. <laughs> Poor thing. Did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor Head. He got very angry when she wouldn't let him in. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. Dun dun dun. Oh, another load. Can they just give up on the loading screens? You better take us straight back in the common room. I think it does. And to that effect, Sir Cadogan will be standing in for the fat lady. Now, I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to go to bed. Look, you remember all's flashing. Okay, guys. It's time to go. I'll see you in the next part. 
can't remember what's happening. It's a surprise. Goodbye.